Because, you know, what can happen is, with, between your ideal self and your core self, and we've all got it going on, is that sometimes you can create yourself a, a cycle of failure, where you've set yourself a target that you've not been able to achieve, and then you feel worse because of it. And we've all got this going on. We all compare ourselves to other people. Social media doesn't help. You see people with their perfect kids and their perfect houses. You think, why is my house a shit tip and my kids are a nightmare? And this person looks like they've got everything sorted. They've not got everything sorted. They're just better at taking photos than you. That's the only thing. <laughs> They're just better at taking photos than you. That's the only thing that's different between you. Do not compare your full film to somebody else's trailer, OK? Because it's not the same thing at all. My two bits that I just want to tell you very quickly is this. Firstly, your problems are the worst problems in the world. Whatever you are going through individually, that is the worst problem in the world to you. Yes, we're not told to think like that. We always think, yeah, well, you shouldn't feel like that because that person's doing that and that person's just lost a bum and that person's just lost a job and whatever it is, and they should feel worse than you. They probably do, but you can only feel your own problems. You know, you can empathise with them, but you can only feel your own. And I get it sometimes. I feel sad, I feel anxious, I feel depressed because I've got all these wonderful things going on in my life and then sometimes I feel sad and then I feel bad that I feel sad about my, what looks like a perfect life, you know? And it's like when you were a kid and you told your mum you were hungry and she said, well, there's kids on the news. <laughs> and they're starving. <laughs> it was true, but it didn't fill you up, did it? You were like, oh, well, that's quenched me hunger, that fact. <laughs> When it comes to men, I don't, and, and, and this is for everybody, but specifically men, you know, under 55, the biggest killer in men is, is suicide from depression, more than anything else, right? And the reason I mention it is because I know, as a bloke under 55, I know what it's like, you know? We don't always talk about things, we bury things, we, maybe we've got lads that we have a, a, a pint with or a, play a bit of five-a-side with or whatever it is, and we, we might not feel that like we can necessarily talk to them about what's going on in, in here, you know? And I would say, Definitely do that, definitely talk. Even if you need to go and see the doctor and have a chat to the doctor about it, you go for other things, don't you? You let him have a little hole in your bollocks and put a finger up your ass, but for some reason, <laughs> we won't go for a chat, which, if anything, seems less weird. <laughs> the biggest bit of advice anyone gave me, and I, I just want to pass this on to every single person watching this show, and it's this. Just because you are struggling, it doesn't mean you're failing. And everything is in a cycle and you will get through it, okay? So just because you're struggling doesn't mean you're failing. And I think, you know what, if I can say that to a room full of people that I just met tonight, well, you can say it to one of your mates or your wife or your husband or the doctor the next time you feel like you need to get something off your chest. Okay. You're not alone, folks.